In this video, we will learn about the search layouts, the global search, and the lookup search. So we are logged in into one of the environments, where we will take an example of global search. Now we are on the home tab. And if I show you how many accounts we have in the system, I will go to all the accounts. In all accounts, you can see these are the accounts that I have in my org. Now if I go to the global search, you can see there is a drop-down, which is all. And then you see, there are so many objects, which are listed here, which are part of your org. Now, if I keep the default selection, if I click on this global search, you will see some of the recent items. Now this suggestion comes on the basis of your preferences, your most used objects most use records, there's a global search box on the Einstein AI, so they capture and track all your preferences, and usage, and your behavior. Now, if I want to, let's say search something I type for United. You can see here that United is one of the accounts. Now you see few things here. Now you see United simply then you see United in accounts. And then you see some suggestions. On the first one is a general search across all the objects. The second one is search only in the accounts because right now we are on the accounts tab. So you see this option. And then it shows you the suggestion with the name of the accounts and with the contacts which are associated to this account. Now, if I would have used opportunities in the past, you would have also seen some opportunities here. Now if I search on United, it will search United across the entire org you can see accounts, opportunities, contacts, files, everywhere it is searching for it, and you can see the search results here. Accounts, contacts, opportunities. Now if I go back again, and now you can see that the option United in accounts is not there because I have not on the accounts tab. If I go back to the accounts, I type United then you again see the option is back. If I click on United in accounts, then it only searches in the account. If I go back to the home, I again search for United, you only see United, and the recently accessed records, you do not see that option United in accounts. Now, if I if you filter from accounts, and then again, you click on United, you will only see United in accounts you will not see United across the org. So this way, the global search works, you can search for all other objects in the global search. Now, you noticed that in the global search. The searches are displayed like this. And these are the columns which are basically the account fields displaying on the search results. And this is part of the search layout. To modify the search layout, you go to the object manager in the setup, you go to the accounts, and then you go to the search layouts. In the search layouts, you have a default layout where you can see the same columns are displayed here account name, account number billing country phone account owner alias, if I go back to the search result, account name, account number, billing country phone, and account owner alias. Now, this default layout is by default assigned to all the profiles in your org. Now if I make a change here, if let's say I remove phone, I select override it for all the users I click on save. I go back to the search results I refresh the search results then you can see the phone is no more available. This way you can manage your search layouts. Also, you have default layout assigned to all the profiles. So for example, this is a CPQ integration user. If I click on edit and I change the layout here, what will happen is that the changes are only applicable for the user who belongs to CPQ integration user. So this way you can decide what number of columns should be displayed in the search layouts for different profiles, or this one setting should be applicable for all the profiles. Now we will talk about the lookup search. In the lookup search, I will take an example of contact. So on the contact we have two fields account name and secondary account. Now what we're going to do is first of all, I will show you what I want to select in the accounts column. So when you try to create an account, let's say. I will go back to the accounts tab, I will click on new. Now by default, the accounts in the secondary accounts are blank. Now what you can do, here also you will see the same behavior as you saw in the global search. Let's say if I search for United, I can instead I will see some accounts additions. Instead of that I will click on show all results for the United. Here also, you see the same search layout which we had configured a few moments before. Now, this is the way you can search for accounts when you're trying to create a contact. But if I want to put a filter, 
Let's see I go back to the account name. I click on edit I have a filter settings which are called as lookup filter. If I want to say that in the accounts lookup, I only want to see those accounts where the type is customer direct. I can select it like this, I can activate I can click on save. Now what's gonna happen is if I show you all the accounts here these are the accounts which are of type customer direct. So let's go back again to the contacts try to search for a contact. And then if you try to search for any contact, let's say Edge I will search for Edge now Edge Communications is a customer direct if I search for Pyramid Constructions, which is customer channel. I don't see any results. So this way you can manage the local filter and you can decide that which records should appear in the lookup. Now another thing is lookup dependency. Now if I go back to the contacts fields, I showed you that we have secondary account field in this secondary account field. What I want to put a local filter is that I should only see value in this secondary account lookup only and only when my primary account lookup is not equal to blank. So this way, you can decide the lookup dependency. So now what will happen is if I have no value in the accounts, and if I try to search anything in the secondary account, I see nothing. Now, as soon as I fill any value in the primary account field, you see that again, these additions have started appearing. Now if I go back here I see some details for this one. If I search for parameter, I can see parameter. This way you can define the lookup dependency. Thank you.